drink raw milk, I'm not allowed to buy it unless I get my own cow. And I did that. And then I um, took down my trees, I planted my field, I put my fence up. And then they passed a law that said I wasn't allowed to drink milk out of my own cow. So then I had to go down to the General Assembly and fight for that right. So this whole town mall I wanted with raw milk. I had, it's just been one thing after another. And, you know, these are just basic rights. So I'm with an organization that tries to pass laws. There's noise here. Tries to pass laws. It goes back to um, government should protect our fundamental rights, God given rights, and not prohibit them. Yeah. So um, that's why I'm interested in what you're doing here. And, um, Six years ago. Oh, wow. um, trying to rethink the box constantly, even on a yeah. little level. Yeah. Because it's just a basic, you know, the foods that we're allowed to have are bad. Mm. You know, they're government, government inspected, but mm -hmm. um, everything I read says mm. I shouldn't eat. I, you know, mm. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand all the control about um, trying to protect me. Mm -hmm. When it's clearly, it doesn't seem to be the agenda because if they're really trying to protect my rights or, or my food choices they would make sure the food that I can eat were the most beneficial to me and my body you know okay when I wanted to go um, sell my eggs in the farmers market I was told I needed two hundred thousand dollars insurance to sell an egg I said so I basically have to be rich before I can go sell an egg and they well the point is is well, what if someone gets sick? I said, well, how can I guarantee that egg by the time they eat it? You know, after it leaves my possession, why should it be my responsibility to guarantee that egg? And if you knew anything about eggs, all you'd have to do is smell it. You'd know if it was bad or not, but now we use the government to tell us everything that we no longer use our common sense in the things that our foreparents used to do. You would think that nobody could get along in life without being told exactly mm -hmm. every step to take. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I'm, I, I'm trying just to get back to common sense. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's a lost art. It really mm -hmm. is. So, to think about the things that, that people used to do before um, they were told they were allowed to do it and, and they survived. And you gave me that really nice compliment. Yeah. It's, I tell people, you know, being growing up poor and being poor was always a blessing to me yeah. because it helped me yeah. think outside the box. Yeah. And so with the economy the way that it's going, yeah. I know there's a blessing to be had in this because it will give us an opportunity mm -hmm. to rethink things that we were doing. I'm not saying I, I hope no one ever has to go through anything hard, but we realize that true growth comes from being agitated. People to like. Okay, um, only thing I'm thinking is just hey, think about getting back to the basics. We're gonna have to. Right. That's it. I'm in. That's good. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Very back nice. To the That's Not it. <laughs> That's yeah. it. You uh, got it. Thank you. That one, oh, here comes some light. Was this a, a nibbling goat? You don't happen to know. Oh, hey, 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 don't eat the camera. Oh, loves it. You're a star. What are you doing? Oh, wait a minute. That's my shirt. Uh oh. Don't. He's clouding up the lens. <laughs> they are cute, actually. You going to get a goat? Are these for sale? I don't know. I'm not getting a goat, and I don't know if they're for sale, but they are more adorable. And that's how it's done on the farm. Almost. Unless you do it by hand. Yeah. And have you, have you, you've probably done it by hand. More times than I care to know. Really? That's why I use a machine. Is that right? Is this hard work? Is no, it's not hard work, but it's my boring work. get tired. There are plenty of people that, that milk by hand all the time. Yeah. I have no desire.
carving up by hand. My arms and my hands get very sore. I see. Did you get our newborn? We had a no. new baby born this morning. Who's a Nigerian dwarf? That's the cutest little thing. Come here. Thank you. I will. Can you guide me back there? I will. Wow. You know? 13 hours? Awesome, that's they have the official NFL tag. They're $40 at stake. So that's yeah, I know they're saying price has been there. Yeah, so that's a $12 saving. But see, my, like my friends tell me, I'm cuckoo, but I'm not a clock. No, you're not. You get that? <laughs> How much are the short sleeves? I'm sorry. How much are the short sleeves? My house is uh, decorated in early Halloween. Oh, really? Yes. Not, not, not black and orange now, but how, I mean, Adam's family. Your Morticia was sort of, uh... Man, I got one to fit that yeah, belt right but there. Yeah, but my, instead of turning just one street gray, my whole thing turned gray. <laughs> but it turned this way after I killed my husband. Huh. Really? Uh -huh. And you were like blonde the night before, and then you turned white. And... No, uh, -uh no. He, he, I killed him 19 years ago. Oh my God. Not, not, uh, not with kindness, apparently, huh? No, see, I've psyched, I have psychic powers, and I psyched him out of a tree. He fell 30 feet, died instantly. That's what you really, he did. Really? But I didn't have anything to do with it. I'm not sure now. He did that all by himself. I'm not sure. No, he was in Middle Oak. So you weren't exactly uh, crying at the funeral, I take it? No, because everybody wanted me to leave. Hmm. This is a fascinating story. I had no idea what I was getting into when I turned the camera on. Oh, yeah. This is interesting. You never know what you're getting into. for anything special? Not with, especially not with me. Because I'm one of a kind. Can I see that Red Sox shirt one more time? Red Sox shirt. Yeah, you gotta have a certain. You just can't fool around if you got wear it. that shirt. Got it? Is that? Yeah, I got it. Now you ought to buy your girlfriend one of these Betty boot buckles. Or a purse. I can't picture that having that fit with now we have any girlfriend Betty that I know. Well, this might truly. A, Speak to my deep patriotic forever here. I'll give up my gun when they pry it from my cold, dead fingers. Ooh. Oh, man. I need to know your philosophy my now. Philosophy, my philosophy on life is come day, go day, God said Sunday. No, 1921. A mere blink of an eye away. Yes. So see, I'm very well preserved. You are. Oh, here comes the parade. You gotta get that. Oh, what do we got going here? Huh?